Hello and welcome. In this short video about SPC Connect Pro, we're going to be talking about configuration reports. These give a system overview that can be given to customers as a statement of how the system is configured. Now, SPC Connect Pro can create a general configuration report, a user report, a schedule report, or a custom report. So let's see how this is created within the tool. We select offline configuration and we select the configuration file details we wish to create the port for. We now have a number of options available to us of which report we wish to create. For this example, we're going to create a system report. Now, these reports are all web-based, so they will be output in your browser. And we'll see now what that report looks like. It gives an overview of the users, the doors, the zones, and the profiles within the system showing what attributes have been activated, what timers have been set, what hardware devices have been applied to the system. It also gives an overview of the communications that have been configured. Now, if we wish, we can also create a user report. This is a subset of the main report, which just gives the overview of users and user profiles, detailing who they are and which profiles they've been given. Again, no pins will be in this report. It is purely just a system summary of what has been configured. And of course, the schedule report or calendars report gives an overview of how the calendars have been configured. So let's look at some advanced topics now in terms of custom reports, settings, and how you can alter these reports to apply your own branding or to make changes to individualize them. Now, there is some involvement in HTML here, and we would advise that if you are not comfortable with HTML, that perhaps this should be avoided. So we're going to look at the settings in SPC Connect Pro in order to enable the custom report. We select settings, and at the bottom in the report section, we can see where the transforms are and also where the reports are being saved to. Now, this location can be used to visualize where the reports are and we can open them as HTML files. just want to show you some of the things we can do with these reports now that they are web-based. Of course, you can print from Chrome this report as a PDF if you wish to send it to a customer. And when you have it saved as a PDF, you can also open this then as a Word document, making any changes you may wish to make. This will allow you to change the images or add notes if you so wish. But in this custom report, what we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and remove one of the sections from the main report. And for this example, I'm going to remove the door section. So we're going to take this full report and I'm going to edit it. So I'm looking now at the location where the transforms are, and I've created my own transform. And you can see here that this is a HTML file, or looks like one. And I can see the styles that have been applied. I can see the logo is being loaded from this location. And if I wish to change that logo, I simply have to go to the location where that is stored and alter the logo file or alternatively, I could just point this to my corporate brand if I wished. But in this example, I'm just going to replace the standard Vandevolt logo with the Vandevolt V icon. And when I reload the report, the new logo is applied. And this is one of the advantages of using HTML to create these reports. It gives us that flexibility to be able to do that. So again, coming back to my custom report, I'm going to continue on to try and remove the door section. So I can return to my editor, and I can see here that the zones and areas are being imported, but if I scroll down, I can see this is the menu. And if I comment out the menu section, I can remove the doors. You may also observe here that there is a calendar section, and we've left this in place in case you wish to easily add calendars to your report. So we've commented out the menu for doors. I'm just going to go down and find the door section. And this is the code that's outputting the doors data. So I'm going to remove this from the report by just commenting it out using a HTML comment. And 
I just put the end comment in place and I save the file. Now when I run this report, the door section will be removed and a new logo will be applied. If you wish to make any other changes to this report, you can do so, but some HTML knowledge may be required. Of course, if you do so these changes, you do so at your own risk. Now if we refresh this report we had earlier, we'll see that there's no change made. We have to run the report in order for it to update. So we run the custom report, we see that doors have been removed, and the door section below in the report has also been removed. So in summary, you can use these reporting tools to complete a system summary, you can get a report on users, you can create a custom report, and you can apply your own branding to all of these reports. Thank you for watching, and if you have any feedback, please be sure to let us know through any of our feedback channels. Thank you, and goodbye.